Hi, in this video, we'll be seeing how labels can be generated using mail merge option. If you remember, the previous video that we did was all about chapter five mail merging. And in that video, we actually learned the steps for generating letters with different addresses on it. Today, it's a continuation the next topic in this chapter is about labels and uh, how can we prepare labels using the same mail merge option. Now first we need to understand what a label is. See it can be used for various purposes. You cannot just confine it to uh, a specific uh, purpose. So basically you would have noticed that you know many a times when you receive mails okay on the on the envelopes you would have noticed that it has got a sticker and on the sticker the addresses are mentioned now this sticker okay that itself is your label and usually companies what they do is uh, to make it easier for them uh, to put up the information regarding a client's address, they'll have these labels already generated. So for example, for example, let's say in your school, okay, uh, the school wants to invite the students for a certain event. And for that reason, they are planning to send invitation and on each invitation, they want the address details of the students. Now, rather than, you know, the writing the address details what they can do is they can actually purchase label from the market now see labels are ready-made sheets it basically comes like this you know some sheets and it comes for of various sizes now depending upon the size the school wants they will actually purchase the label something of this sort okay now after that using the mail merging option they will create the resultant labels which will be actually printed so after the mail merging process what will happen the data source information that is the students information will be shown on the labels and that labels you can actually print it like this and on each invitation, what the uh, school management or the admin people can do is they can just peel off the label and they can just paste it on it. This is like one example that I've given you. There are various examples of the same thing. Let's see if uh, you go for any sort of uh, blood test and all. So this um, nurses uh, in the lab, you know, they want to identify each person. Maybe they have given a unique uh, uh, ID number for the sample. So, you no, know, using labels, they can have the uh, ID numbers already printed. Okay, and as soon as a, a patient gets in, you know, uh, they can check the sample. Okay, they can give you a bottle or uh, any sort of sample option, and on that, the stickers can be placed. And to identify each person, maybe they can write, you will notice that they actually write the name of the patient on it, but they'll already have the sample ID or any source of sequence ID already printed on a small uh, label and they'll be just peeling it and they'll be just pasting it on it. So hopefully uh, you got an idea about basically what labels is. I guess once we finish this process of labeling, you will be able to under understand it much better. So to start labels, okay, you need to have a new blank document. So whenever you're doing the process of labeling in mail merge, always start with a blank document. Okay, that's the first step. Now, once you have got the blank document, okay, go to mailing, go to start mail merge option click on step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So the moment you click that to the right hand side, you get the wizard option. The first step, similar to the mail merge that we discussed in the previous video, 
it includes six steps okay and the first step is to choose the type of document that you're going to work with so as we are actually dealing with labels we'll be choosing labels and after that click on next select the starting document okay now see as i told you we needed a blank document then this is a document that i'm going to use so i'll keep this as a default one if you want you can choose change document layout or you can choose start from an existing document that is you know you have saved a structure on your computer and if you want to open that that is fine or if you want to change the layout of the existing one you can do that but i'll just keep the default one and choose label option now this label option is where you decide the structure okay now as I said, you need to purchase these labels from the market. So whatever is the label size that you have bought, you have to choose the same thing. Okay, so just to show you how it's going to look like, I'm actually choosing Microsoft 30 per page, but there are so many, so many options available. So depending upon the label that you have purchased, you can actually choose the option. Okay, now once you click on, okay, this is what you get. Now. What you have to understand is now many of you when you will be doing you may not see the grid like this okay so in that case just keep the cursor anywhere in the middle of the page just go to layout and choose view grid lines because if view grid lines is not enabled you see a blank page so it becomes difficult for you to understand the structure so the best thing is place your cursor in the middle of the page click on layout and choose view grid line so it basically shows you the structure after that click on next use an existing list select from outlook contacts type a new list so if you want you can type a new list okay or as i told you outlook is a mailing software you can actually extract the information from that mailing software or else use an existing list so i'm going to choose use an existing list because i'll be depending on the same spreadsheet file that is the excel file that we used in the previous video so click on browse okay you need to find the location of the folder okay so here is my data source file so i'll be picking that and click on open so same way by default your excel file that you open up it has worksheets in it okay so there's only one worksheet for me but generally it depends upon the type of software that you're using different versions of microsoft so if you're choosing the latest software definitely by default it's only going to give you the first one so that is only sheet one will be there but suppose if you're using a pretty older like you know 2007 2010 version and all definitely by default three document three work worksheets will be there so choose the sheet wherein you have your data source entered so sheet one click on ok and see it shows me the records that it holds inside the file so this is a file that i have after that click on ok so at this moment i have my label structure i have my data source and they have they are attached now i need to enter the records and for that reason i need to move on to the next step so here i'll place the cursor to the box where i want to enter the records and then choose more items and i'm going to enter the information it depends upon what you want to put in so title first name last name address down and be a box so i'm just actually trying to pick the information so click on after i do that click on close i need to arrange it properly because i haven't given spaces and all so title space first name space after surname i'll prefer giving enter after address one i'll prefer giving enter and after town also enter if you want to reduce this because it's not clearly visible so if you want you can reduce the font size if it doesn't fit okay arrange the structure now once this arrangement is done now this is where it's slightly different from the mailbox 
because till this step it's almost similar not exactly but it's very similar to what steps we had followed previously so in labels there's one additional thing that you have to keep in mind is you need to choose update all labels so that the same structure gets added on to the next boxes so when i click on update all labels you'll see how it gets arranged once this is done click on next okay now in next basically what it shows is it gives you a preview so how your labels are going to look that is what was being shown here so basically see it's just a single page sheet that you have and you will notice that you know the structure is actually being arranged now it depends upon how many number of pages i actually have now once this is done okay click on next edit individual labels okay click on all and click okay now once that is done you will see that you get the resultant which we generally refer to as the merged document you get that with different addresses on it see now see if you notice it because it was 30 per page and i had only these many number of uh, records so that is a reason it fills only according to the number of records i have in my data source file and this is how you will be creating the labels okay this is one method similarly there's another method to do the same thing similar to what we learned in the mail merging part so i'll just help you out with that as well okay so let's try the second method for that you have to go to file new i'm going to start with a new blank file click on mailing now rather than depending upon step by step i'm going to use this ribbon option that is the icon option it's like a shortcut method and compared to the previous step the number of steps involved are uh, slightly uh, less and it's more easier to handle these so start mail merge and i'll be choosing label option now at the moment i choose label it actually gives me the option to choose the label size so depending upon whatever you have purchased from the market try to choose the same size because whatever you purchase definitely the name of the vendor plus the size details will be there so accordingly you have to choose for time being i've selected microsoft 30 per page and then click on ok so as i said if you're not able to see any grid lines or any lines after this step please place your cursor at the center of the page click on layout and enable view grid lines once that is done choose select recipients now i've got three methods depending upon your uh, requirement you can choose it now type a new list i can type a complete new list here itself choose from outlook outlook contracts that is using my outlook mailing software i can actually extract the details or i can use an existing list so i'll prefer using an existing list because my data source file is already typed and i have made it in excel so here uh, i'll pick up my file so practical data uh, i'll choose another file so that you can see a variation okay so here i have uh, added them so at this point my label structure file is attached to the data source file now i need to enter the first headings that is the first row content over here and that is through insert merge fields now depending upon what you want to put up you can pick from here so i'll choose title i'll choose regional manager i'll press enter i'll choose address one space address two address three space address four so what i've done is i've actually uh, given space between title and regional manager then i have used enter address one space address two again enter address three space address four okay once this is done this is for this part okay we want you can rearrange you know position it the way how you want it that is allowed 
or if you want to change the font size slightly make it bigger it's up to you once this is done you have to choose preview results okay now once this is done you have to choose update labels because as i told you this fields that you have entered that needs to get updated to the next boxes for that reason you have to choose update labels and the moment you do that you will see that you know whatever we had actually entered in the first box that is actually copied or updated to the next boxes once this is done you can click on preview results and it's see it gives you the name of the regional manager with the title address related information and so on now if you want see this is slightly different from mail merging because in mail merging it's one letter so you know when you click on next 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 and so on it just gives you the different letter content with different addresses here it's just one label and you have got different sizes or boxes inside that one label so depending upon the content inside your data source file the results will be shown so as per the data source file that i had picked i only had around like nine ten records so that's the reason it's showing this way once this is done click on finish edit individual documents or uh, labels and choose all and click on ok so this is your resultant file and you would notice how the labels are arranged it's a very easy method as i told you there are two methods whichever method you feel comfortable choose that for theory as well as for practical practical a mail merging with letters is one compulsory question that is always asked it all depends upon the center where you are appearing for the exam that's a very common question and there is every possibility that labels can be asked because it's almost similar to mail merging so you know when it comes to your practical for data entry which is 60 marks just make sure chapter 5 mail merge the entire practical part is really uh, really done that's really important thank you